So in this short uh, tutorial, I'm going to explain what uh, phase modulation is, um, what it means on a CIJ continuous inkjet printer, and then ultimately how to set uh, the correct point, the modulation point, um, to get the best print window um, on the Series 8 CIJ printer from Best Code. So let's talk a little bit about modulation. Um, what is modulation, uh, or known in this industry as a print window? Uh, the modulation voltage or print window uh, is defined as a range of uh, modulation voltages uh, within which the uh, jet breakup is stable and satellite free. So we're talking about the um, drop generator creating droplets um, making nice clean droplets uh, for good print quality. Um, there is a pronounced upright pair drop shape uh, near the breakup point, uh, and I'll show you those in a little while. Um, the phasing is stable and the print quality is good. Um, so the, the nozzle drop generator, uh, an ink combination that gives the widest print window is preferred. Um, there are several things that affect um, this modulation, uh, temperature being one, uh, humidity being another, um, age of the printer. Uh, so there are different areas, uh, different things that could affect the overall print quality uh, modulation. So knowing how to set the modulation point is, is pretty critical. So look at the diagram here. We've got voltage over time and we've got a sine wave. So what we're looking at doing is, if we look at that, we see where our ideal print window is. And we could have a set point uh, that is not in the middle, it's off to one end, which means as soon as we have any of those varying factors like a drop in temperature or humidity or age of printer, if we're right set to one end of this modulation curve, then it doesn't take a lot for it to drop out and um, create bad print quality. So ideally, we want a modulation set point right in the middle of the print window. And I'm going to show you how to do that on the best code printer very shortly. So now we're going to set the modulation in the Series 8 uh, best code CIJ printer. Um, so what I've done. I've got now the jet is on and it's in the ready status and I'm going to go ahead and sign in and sign in again is going to be GoTech, G-O-T-E-C-H. And now it's important to sign in when doing the modulation because um, when you sign in, it opens up the full range of modulation voltage. When you're not signed in, it's limiting down to 180 volts. Um, so signed in means you can go all the way up to 250. So you'll need to be signed in. Um, selected a, a, a average message here, just a, a simple um, single line, two line code, uh, just so that we can see the print quality. And what we're gonna do now is we need to establish whether the um, viscosity, so I'm gonna go into service, and whether we the viscosity is within range for running a modulation test. And if you remember from one of the other training tutorials, the target was 4.5. Um, we want to be 0.5 either way to be within range. So from anywhere from four to five. Now this currently is set to 4.8. So we're within range, so we can actually start doing the modulation test. Um, <clears throat> so the modulation setting is right here. Modulation is currently set to 110 volts. And this is in the uh, service screen. So from the home screen, we're going to go into service and you see the modulation is at the top left. The same screen with the viscosity reading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, first of all, I'm going to ch uh, change this voltage. I'm going to take it down to the minimum. Now remember, Previously, we were talking about the sine wave and the two set, uh, the two uh, um, upper and lower points of the print window. We're going to go to the lower point first of all, and I'm going to change this all the way down to probably around about 60, 
50 volts, something like that. And I'm going to take a print, uh, a print test from that. And the print test is literally just a piece of paper I'm going to put under the print head. And there's the result. And as you can see, the bottom of the message is, is out. Okay, so this is not good modulation. So I'm going to increase this a little bit at a time until I find the uh, correct um, lowest setting of good print. So I'm going to raise that to uh, 60 volts and take another test. And as you can see now on 60 volts, we've got a pretty good print quality right there. So that's our lowest set point. So now we're going to do the same, but we're going to go up to the higher set point. So I'm going to take this all the way up um, to probably around about 230, 240, something like that. Let's do a test at 230. And 230 set point is good. So I'm going to take it up to 240. And 240 is good. A um, little bit of degradation in the dots here, but still acceptable. Let's do 250. And 250 is the highest we can go and still good. So our midway set point is going to be the lowest point of the window print window is going to be 60 volts the highest set point is going to be 250 volts so we want to find the midway range between that 60 and 250. so the formula for calculating midpoint uh, between the two numbers remembering that the 60 volts is your low point 250 volts is your high point so the formula is going to be, in this case, 60 plus 250 equals 310 divided by 2 equals a, a midpoint of 155, 155. So now we've calculated that. I'm going to set the modulation here to 150. And that gives us our midpoint okay 150 that gives us our midpoint between our lowest threshold and our highest threshold um, for modulation calibration so any changes in temperature so right here my print head temperature is 23 degrees celsius um, if that changes and it gets hotter or colder then the modulation will also change so now we can go in and we can set the midpoint so it takes any of those fluctuations as explained before, if the modulation was at the lowest point, so close to that 60 volts, if the temperature started changing, then you would have bad print quality uh, as a result of that. So that's basically how to set the midpoint for the modulation. Um, we can double check this now by going into the print head and looking at where the green LED is uh, with an eyeglass. And we can start counting down now from the top, the pair drop droplets, and we should have between four and five droplets pear shaped before we have a nice round droplet. So in this first example, uh, when you look with an eyeglass down onto that green LED, this is what you're going to see. So this first example um, is uh, an example of no drop breakup whatsoever. So there's no voltage uh, getting onto the um, drop generator causing the droplets. Uh, this second one, uh, the modulation voltage is set to low and you can see that the pair drop type droplets, there's only a couple there before it gets uh, to the full formed. This example, um, this is too high, so uh, there's no droplets um, uh, separation whatsoever. And then uh, this one, you can see some small satellites between the droplets. Again, it's not good. This would result in bad print quality. And then finally, we have uh, the perfect uh, modulation. And as you can see, we can count down four or five um, of those pear-shaped droplets before the droplet is perfectly formed.